Good afternoon. The first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Mark Hazelwood, Chief Executive of the Scottish Partnership for Palliative Care. Presiding Officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to share some thoughts. Nearly everyone has experienced the death of someone important to them, and everyone here has a memory or a story to tell of someone who has died who they still miss. A parent, a school friend, a sibling, a teacher perhaps who ignited an enthusiasm, a political mentor, a colleague, or a child. And these people's stories become part of our own stories. But where is the space for such stories of dead loved ones in 21st century Scotland? Many of our old traditions of remembrance have declined, and with them the chance to remember and to tell stories. This matters because it's part of a wider silence which can leave people who have been bereaved feeling isolated. This matters because the parents of bereaved children, the parents of children who have died, are made to feel uncomfortable about saying their child's name. This matters too because an opportunity to celebrate our shared humanity is lost. An opportunity for smiles and perhaps some tears, an opportunity for solace. It's time to reignite old traditions and to create new ones. In the first week of November each year, people and organizations across Scotland take part in Two Absent Friends, a people's festival of storytelling and remembrance. Two Absent Friends provides an excuse, an opportunity, a time of year when it is normal, acceptable, to remember and to tell stories. And this makes it a little easier during the rest of the year to listen, to say the right thing, and to support each other. Anyone and everyone can take part in the festival in whatever way is meaningful for them. Here is just a flavor of what is happening this week. At a care home in Livingston, they're having tea, cakes, and songs which hold special memories. At Easter Road Football Stadium, fans are writing messages and pinning photos on an absent friend's wall. In Elgin, community members are joining together for an absent friend's supper. At St. Mary's Cathedral, people are gathering for personal reflection whilst listening to the beautiful music of Edinburgh Brass Band. In Inverness, young people are creating a photo memory mural. In Glasgow, at an intergenerational dance party, people are dancing for the departed. The evening darkness of the grass market is gradually being lit by candles of remembrance placed by passers-by. In Kilmarnock, Prison inmates and staff gather together to share remembrances. In cyberspace, memories are being tweeted and pictures Facebooked. To Absence Friends is a people's festival. It takes place in public spaces, over social media, in workplaces, in families, in homes and in communities, and in people's hearts and minds. The festival can remind us of what matters most and of what connects us all most deeply. Let us raise a toast to absent friends. <laughs> 